Hello, hello. It's another video. This time, I thought it would be fun to take you guys along and show you what it looks like for a typical day as an innkeeper. Um, I've had this request a couple of times on my Instagram, so I thought it would just be fun to show you some of the things we end up doing during the day and some of the upkeep that goes into making sure our guests are happy and it's a lot of fun baking and prep work and so I hope you find a little bit of joy in this video and stick along. And first I think I'm gonna go get some coffee. It's something I do pretty much every day I go into the office just because it, you know it makes the day that much better. So that's what we're gonna go do. Um, some of you, I think I said in my last video that my go-to order is a caramel macchiato and so I'm hoping to get my order right this time. I also wanted to ask, I know views aren't going to be great when you're starting an account, but I feel like they're not as good as they could be, so I want to ask you guys, what do you think I could be doing better? Is it the quality of my videos, the content, just let me know your opinions, your thoughts. You guys are the reason I'm doing these videos. I want to just share more of what I'm doing with you guys. So if there's anything that I can improve about these videos, please just let me know so I can work on it, so I can give you guys the best I possibly can. Uh, because I already put a lot of effort into my videos, but I really want to know what I'm doing wrong as to why they're not being they're not reaching as many people as I would like them to. Uh, can I do a grande caramel macchiato hot please? Of course. All right, coffee is acquired and now I'm on my way to the inn. And another cool thing that's happening is I have a possible extra client um, from another local business around here. So I'm really excited for that because I'd love to eventually end up doing social media managing full time and have that be my normal, you know, main career. So fingers crossed on that. All right, we are here at the inn. It's a beautiful afternoon. Not too many guests coming in today, which is perfect for filming. So I thought for the first bit of our video, I will give you a little bit of a tour of what, you know, the initial house looks like, what the courtyard looks like, just getting you more familiar with the area. So this is the room you enter when checking in. There's lots of sunlight coming in, beautiful antique decor. We also have some fall decorations out, uh, just a gorgeous setting to be introduced to for coming into the inn. Also a beautiful rug that I feature a lot in my videos. And then there's this grand staircase that I will just forever be in love with. It's always in my photos somehow. I just, uh, I can't talk enough about it more beautiful rugs. We have a marble side table over here. Um, just lots of character to these rooms. Um, and along with that is just amazing architecture. Uh, from the doorways to the windows, just it has so much character. And the house, the main house is actually around 120 years old, which I find to be really fascinating. And then this is our dining room, which has been a recent add-on. So much natural lighting that makes it inviting to eat in here. And we also have a lot of original paintings as well. This is an oil painting that is original. It reminds me a lot of one of Monet's pieces. And then we have cookies out every day for the guests. Lots more fall decor in here. And then another thing I love is we always have a fresh set of bouquets on every table and this is our bar you can come and get a free glass of wine or beer during your stay here is our coffee area we have regular and decaf most days more fall decor uh, we also have some cocoa and some tea options as well lots of syrups to choose from this is another gorgeous room it's more private dining if that's something you prefer to the other dining room more antique decor in this room. We also have some shelving in here and some study areas. Uh, most of these are cookbooks, but still just a beautiful atmosphere. And then we have our kitchen, 
beautiful granite counters, lots of storage area. Uh, this is where I do all my baking and all of the prep work for the morning breakfasts. And then this area is right outside of the dining room, so we have a lot of extra outdoor dining options, which are quite popular in the springtime and autumn. And then this is a little bit outside of um, our suites and the main house. Just beautiful, enchanting exterior. It really does hold this uh, vibe throughout the seasons, every single season. Uh, so this is another view of our suites and main house. This is the cottage covered in ivy, which I'm just obsessed with. And this is part of our courtyard for our standard rooms. And there's even more seating around the standard rooms, so lots of areas to conversate, um, have recreational events. We've had several people do their homecoming shoots here, their wedding shoots, wedding ceremonies. So there's so many possibilities around this inn. And it's such a beautiful historic location. And one of the other things I love about the inn is that it has a touch of Roman revival architecture, especially when you're observing the columns, which I find really cool. And then our sign was recently redone. It's looking beautiful with the watercolors and just look at that garden. I wanted to show off my sailoresque outfit for the day. And then once I'm checked in for the day and get myself situated, I'm usually at the computer answering emails for a while, um, checking phone calls, stuff like that, making sure there's no pressing matters that need tended to in the rooms. And then that's usually when I check the food prep, see what needs done. Uh, surprisingly today, there's actually not that much to do, although, I may make some muffins just for the sake of the video and to keep stuff frozen in the freezer since usually weekends are pretty busy. So I might show you guys um, one of our recipes. I might try something new. I'm thinking maybe chocolate espresso muffins. That sounds really good. Okay, so turns out we do not have bread for the day. So what I'm gonna do is make a strudel-like pastry. I will show you guys how it's made. It's pretty easy. I'm thinking I might do an apple one today and then we'll get started on some muffins. So guess what we also don't have? That's right, we do not have pastry sheets. So now I gotta figure out what kind of bread to make even though I suck at making bread. So let's hope I can do something right. <sighs> Goodness me. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Let me think. What is this? Brownies, cookies, strawberries. Oh, we also need to make cookies. Oh, you're not. So that's one. All right. Muffins. But we need bread, don't we? All right. There's peach cobbler bread. No. Cranberry orange. That's more of an interesting. We could do banana, but those are probably banana muffins. <sighs> You know what? Pumpkin bread is on me. I'm better and better. Pumpkin. All right, it's time to go on Pinterest and look. Okay, here is our pumpkin bread. It looks good right now, so let's wait and see what it looks like out of the oven. All right, here is what the loaf looks like. I feel like I don't know, it, it could be better. I'm going to try and make a maple drizzle syrup of sorts, so hopefully that will help make it look a little prettier. Okay, honestly, this actually looks pretty good. Uh, the glaze came out perfectly, so I'm gonna let this sit for a while and hopefully it solidifies and we can cut it up. Thank you for calling the Mount Vernon. This is Katie, how can I help you? Hello? Well, they hang up. After the bread's done, there's not a whole lot to do. The one guest we had already checked in. He already started the laundry. So this is around the time where I kind of start, you know, just filling in my time, doing some things that I want to do. I think I'm going to work on my book for a little while since I only have six chapters done and I've been wanting to convert it to a different application because the one I have it in now is not working for me or my beta readers really. So let's get that done and out of the way while I'm thinking about it.
Okay, progress has been made on the book. Laundry's going right now. Bread is cooling. And I think that might be close to everything for the day. So it may seem boring to some, but this is pretty fulfilling work for me and I really enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. And let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.